Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So last tutorial we did in our space series um, the ship moving to a waypoint and someone suggested, I can't remember your name, I apologise for that, um, but you can position like the enemy ship orbits the planet so flies around it kind of like protecting it. Okay, really simple to do. So the first thing we need is we actually need to create it some points. So basically saying go to this point here, go to this point here. Uh, there's roughly two ways you can do it. You can one, you can put an object there and say go to the object's point. That works. So we put a point there, 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 and then it'll we put it, put them all in an array, and it'll follow the objects. That's easy enough. The next part, where, other way, is to actually create the vectors for it, which isn't really the best way. So you like saying, um, go to vector position. 0, comma, 5, comma, 6 and then once it's there go to vector position blah 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 it's not the best so we're going to go with the objects really simple so we're going to go up click object create empty that simple and we're going to put one right in front of the planet but not like s silly in front of the planet just like where a ship would start patrolling from there and we'll call this uh, red ship patrol one. So that's its first waypoint. Press Control or Command D to duplicate it, and we'll move it to the next position. Two, and then we'll go three. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to literally circle it and increase the number. So I'll speed it. To, well, I'll just cut it out. I'll be back in a minute. So, as you can see, I've done all the waypoints, so we can go up them and just see he will circle the planet, and we make him follow him. Really simple. So we're going to grab all these, and we're going to create a final... In fact, we won't. We'll get these, and we'll stick them into Planet Surrender, just to keep them out of the way. And we'll stick them all into number one. Just so they're all out of the way, but we still know where they are. So, the pivot point for that one is there. It'll follow like that. So we're going to go to our enemy ship, and open up our enemy AI. And all the way at the top, up here, where target is above it, so say here, we'll make a new note and say waypoints, and we'll type var, uh, waypoints, and this will be a trans hmm, transform, yeah, so we can get the position. And then we'll make it an array, and we'll say equals new transform 10, because we have 10 waypoints and then we're going to create another variable under there called private var waypoint will be an integer equal to zero and what this basically will do is keep track of which waypoint the the ship's actually meant to be flying towards so if it's waypoint zero he'll be flying to the first one then when he gets there we'll increase it by one really simple so the first thing we need to do is set him up to going to the correct waypoint so we're going to get waypoints here and where it says target, we're going to replace it instead of game object dot find planet surround dip. We'll put waypoints and bracket waypoint dot position. So it's going to go find the first waypoint and go to it. Easy enough. Then it's going to come down here if it's less than 60, but that's only for character, so it'll be down here. If the character's more than 61, it'll fly towards the actual target then down here we'll type if move direction dot magnitude is less than five so if it's approaching that actual waypoint here we'll just increase this by one plus waypoint plus plus so it'll come down flying towards it is it up close yes increase waypoint it increases it here then moves to a different waypoint easy enough so one of the next steps we need to do is we need to actually assign the waypoints to the character. It needs to be done. So we're going to find enemy stats when it loads here. And we've got our 10 waypoints. So this one is a little bit annoying, but you just have to basically assign every one to the correct one. If you have one right out of place, like if you put the fourth one in the third position, then it'll jump between it and then come back on itself and it won't look well good. Unless you want it like that, I don't know. But what we can do one day is by using these, we can place one on every corner and make it... That's right. 
make it um, randomise where it's going and then it'll use the waypoints to get there. That's what GPS systems use. So we're basically coding our own one of those when I figure out why my code doesn't work. But yeah. So the final stage is to test it, but before we test it, the red ship was a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do when I first start the game is speed it up so it's got a little boost so it's not so slow. So we fly up above these asteroids so you can see. And you'll see the red ship slowly coming towards it. So let's speed this up to say 50. So boom, he fires round. And you'll see when he hits it, boom, he goes round. But we can't get close to him else to start shooting us. But as you can see, he's flying round. So if we come back over to our asteroids, you'll see he'll come back round. But then we'll get an error after. So he comes up, there he is, right there and error. As you can see we now have an error. And what this error says here is array index is out of range because when it comes down and it gets to the tenth waypoint it's still increasing it. So it goes 11, find array 11 and because our array only has 10 it don't find it so it goes error. Easy way to fix it we'll put here um, if waypoint equals well is more than waypoints dot length then and waypoints length is 10 so if it's more than that it'll be 11 which it is then waypoint equals zero that's simple so it'll reset so i'll speed it up as well as like giving it a boost so i'll say like a hundred this time so he flies around quickly hopefully and we should see him he'll come back around he'll hit the first one then carry on again so here's the first one where that yellow marker is. Give him a speed boost to 50. Boom, goes round. And he comes back round. There. And we get another error. Slight error. Um, you just need to say instead of more than, just put more than equals. Um, because sometimes it starts at zero, it comes up and it gets to 10. Find the tenth. We don't have a tenth waypoint because we are on nine there and the length is 10 so it's a bit weird using length but if you just put more than equals it'll work fine so we go up I'll speed it up to 200 this time so it gets around super super fast miss grips 200 boom boom tick 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 it'll fly around hit the waypoint and carry on boom so as you can see we've now got a dome going and yeah He's not touching the atmosphere, if he was he'd be taking damage, so he's on waypoints. You of course could make it, uh, as you can see there's the shit thing flying around. You could make it like more smoother and make it better, but what we're eventually going to do is make it instead of going boom, sharp turn to it, because if I show you uh, Miss Scripts here, he when he changes position, you'll see him, he'll just go click, and he'll just literally instantly look at it. That's not very good. So we'll slowly make him drift towards it like a pirate ship where he's spinning wheel, because then I don't know, you don't know what spaceships are like yet. So he spins the wheel, it'll slowly turn around, and it'll get to where it needs to go. So that's all we're gonna do in this tutorial. Quick, short tutorial to do array waypoints, really easy to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.